Hey guys, welcome to Techno News episode 30. I've reached number 30 already. Really appreciate all your support, it means so much. I'm still pushing towards monetization targets. Obviously, we've smashed the 500 subs, which I'm very grateful for. If you haven't already, please do sub to the channel. Uh, we are trying to keep pushing, hopefully hitting the 1,000. The next target we need to hit is the viewing hours. So if you wouldn't mind letting this video play through, if you've already watched it once, just let it play through again in the background while you're doing other stuff. Or check out some of my other videos, be very much appreciated. Ring the bell for alerts um, for going live and other videos appearing on the timeline. And leave a comment or your favourite emoji um, just to try and generate some engagement and get some chat going. Let us know what you think about anything in this video, any other videos, or swing by my live streams and have a chat in real time we very much appreciate it you can check us out live most nights from around 10 o'clock uk here on youtube yeah man so i hope to see you then and we're going to crack on with the news all uh, right so first up bit of news we have so the first bit of news we have is xbox have announced that they're going to release some of their exclusives over on the playstation so they'll not be exclusive anymore uh, there's been a bit of an uproar about this, but to me it sort of makes sense. It looks like it's the Bethesda games that are coming across, and I'm sure they had some sort of agreement where some of the games were going over anyhow in the meantime. So the ones that have been mentioned up to now is Starfield, which has been a flop anyhow. Why anybody would want to play that on Xbox or PlayStation is beyond me. But apparently that's going across Indiana Jones, which could generate some income. Not much else was mentioned other than those two, um, but it'll be interesting to see what's actually said when Phil Spencer does his chat uh, through the week. We'll keep an eye out on that. I uh, can't see any of the other stuff, like the Halo and things like that, going across, but it'll be interesting if they do mention other IPs. But the only thing is I can't really see Sony returning the favour anytime soon and releasing the likes of Uncharted and stuff on the Xbox. But we'll see. Other news, uh, Dark and Dark is serviced again. It was a game I reported on quite some time ago saying they were getting sued for ex-employees from Nexon building this game using mechanics and assets that were in place for a game for Nexon to release, which didn't. Um, it's basically a loot extraction game set in sort of like Dungeons and dragons -y type world going around Unforgiven Dungeons, killing skeletons and stuff, trying to find loot and get out. The lawsuit's been ongoing for quite some time, um, but apparently the injunction has been dismissed now. So whether this means we'll actually see the game come back to Steam as it got removed while the proceedings was going on or not, I don't know. At the minute, the only real way to get hold of the game, they've released it through torrents and through their own website, so it'll be interesting to see if that makes a reappearance on Steam at some point. In the meantime, other games have pretty much ripped off Dark and Darker, which was a rip-off of another game, apparently, and uh, trying to hit Steam. So the latest one is Dungeon Born. Looks very similar. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if Dark and Dark they kick up a fuss about these, trying to nick their game concepts. I can't say it happening. Um, next up, we have the Suicide Squad game. It looks pretty shit anyhow, to be fair. Um... But apparently it did have a bit of a botch launch and the developers have had to apologise. They've offered players $20 worth of in-game currency by way of an apology so they can buy stuff in-game. Well, from where I gather, the $20 isn't enough to buy any of the skins. You need 25 or so, so you're getting stung anyhow, having to buy more currency to use what they've given you. When it was announced... It did sort of grab my attention. I, I'm a big DC fan. I love Batman. I love that universe. And it had a good concept to it. But actually watching it, it looks fucking awful. Um, let us know what you think in the comments. If you played it, try and change my mind if you think it's good. I don't know. It's not for me. Anywho. Next up, Blood Bowl. There was actually a tweet out this week saying, We're finally getting the League Tools. Uh, about a year and a half after its release, we're getting the admin league tools. But apparently even then they're limited compared to what was available in Blood Bowl 2, so people still aren't happy. But um, they will be adding the extra stuff in down the line. But it, is it enough to draw players back after all the fuss and the wait of a year? I don't know. I, I can't say it personally, but we shall see. 
Uh, next, the day before drama is continuing. Obviously, last week the devs kicked off saying there was a big hate campaign against the game. All the bloggers and YouTubers were against it, and it was filled from the off. Um, but apparently, things were going on behind the scenes as a couple of devs released sort of leaks about the toxicity behind the scenes. Um, from where I gather, it was two brothers who owned the company who were putting the game forward, and they were constantly moving goalposts, changing the way the game should look or fail. Um, after playing one game, like, I think there was a few mentioned the likes of Spider-Man, they were like, oh, well, we need to change it to be more like that. And then the developers were like, well, I thought it was like a, a dark dreary zombie survival game not a bright action adventure type thing but um apparently this went on and on and on and they were pretty toxic and bullying they wouldn't pay staff on time if if the staff couldn't keep the work to a certain standard they would find them even so there's a lot going on behind the scenes with that it's all a bit shit really if that's the case um but I'm still surprised anything got released, to be honest, because to me, I thought it was just one of them made-up games that nobody heard of. Um, but there is no what you think. And Apple got hit by the EU over the store policy. Obviously, this has been going on for quite some time as well. Basically, every purchase anybody makes on any game or any like in-game purchase... Apple take 30% of every transaction. So there was a big uproar about that. It, um, Epic Games were in a massive dispute with them over Fortnite and the skins and things like that because of it all. Um, they've decided to lower the transaction cost from 30 to 17%. Um, but they've also added in an extra policy sort of hidden underneath all that um, where they state that if an app gets over 1 million downloads, for every download after the 1 million, they'll take 50 cents. Um, which may not sound a lot, but when you think of how many users they are using, like some WhatsApp, Spotify, YouTube, things like that, that's a lot of money. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if this drama will continue and if people kick up even more of a fuss about stuff. Um, we'll keep an eye on that and see what else is said on that regard. And pretty much my last bit of news this week, um, I was trying to avoid stream of drama and stuff to be fair, so it's a bit shorter this week, but um, the last bit of news that I sort of find is around The Last of Us, the co-president Neil Druckmann has announced that it is likely that Last of Us Part 3 will be coming. He says it was sort of on the cards for a while but he couldn't really come up with a concept for it but he, he's got a storyline in mind that he wants to work towards it's still going to be a long way off because he's literally just come up with the idea apparently either that or the ones the tv rights have filled his pocket again and told them they want a series three um but i've not actually played the games and i haven't watched the full series so i don't really know what the story's about i know it's like a zombie survival apocalypse kind of vibe um, but whether it's going to have the original characters or if it's going to be a whole new story based on somebody else in that world, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting to find out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Um, as I said, if you want to chat about this, any of my ghost videos, any of my gaming videos, uh, pop by my live stream or leave comments down below and we can have a conversation around that. Make sure you sub to the channel. Hit the bell to get the alerts, as it says on there. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.